This has been a months long battle between the Las Vegas Athletic Clubs and the Health District, even going to court. But the big question, why do gym pools need a lifeguard when apartment complexes or even pool facilities operated by homeowner associations do not? The answer, state regulations. The Nevada Administrative Code outlines the rules, including the presence of lifeguards. The document states a swimming facility must have a lifeguard on duty when the facility is open for use unless it is a swimming pool with certain conditions met. The exceptions to not having a lifeguard, the pool is operated solely for and in conjunction with a hotel, motel, or other places of lodging, like a trailer park, apartment, or condominium. The health district incorporated the code into the aquatic facility regulations in 2018. It states a lifeguard is also needed in an aquatic venue 2,000 square feet or more. The LVAC and other gyms received variances from the health district starting in 2020 that allowed health clubs to monitor pool users using video cameras in lieu of a lifeguard on duty. But the exception was revoked earlier this year after a woman died in one of LVAC's pool facilities. LVAC submitted lifeguard plans to the district, but the district rejected the proposals, citing incomplete information. Meanwhile, signs at LVAC facilities still show the pool closed. LVAC and the health district are meeting this week to develop a final draft of the lifeguard staffing plan. Reporting by 95 and Rainbow, I'm Kristen Drummond, News 3.